Hello, my Cancerian friends. This is Jamie, Little Red Tarot. This is going to be your Equinox reading from September to December 2019. If you're on, in the U.S. and this side of the world, it's fall to winter. On the other side, it's spring to summer. Like, subscribe, and share. Whichever video sign gets the most likes, we'll get a bonus reading for October. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being part of the Little Red Tarot family. Now keep in mind that all readings are general. If they do not resonate, there are plenty of other wonderful tarot readers on YouTube. Feel free to check them out. They are a timeless read. Whenever you hear them is whenever you're supposed to get them. Tarot is here to help, not hinder. The outcome is always up to you to change. It's your free will, your destiny. You're the captain of your own ship. So keep that in mind. Also, even though I'm reading for cancer, the message that I read might resonate with the person you're dealing with. So if it doesn't resonate with you, maybe it's the person's energy that I'm dealing with. It's up to you to decide. It's your message. It's your intuition. You know it's for you. Again, like, subscribe, and share. Everything you need to know is down in the description box below, below, including the free astrology chart to get your sun, moon, and rising, which I need for private readings. I also accept donations. Those are all greatly appreciated. Again, everything is in the link below. So let's go ahead and get this started. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Equinox reading, September to December 2019. I like to start off with a little prayer. Lord in heaven, I come to you in the name of Jesus for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for this day and thank you for our blessings. I want to thank you for this gift that you give me. I want to thank you for speaking to me and through me so I can get the message across to whoever needs to hear it. Spirits, I want to thank you for being here. My personal spirits, the spirits of my followers, and the spirits of whoever needs to get a message across. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, I pre-shuffle off camera, so don't be concerned if there's not too many shuffles because I stop and the spirits tell me to. I start with the Radiant Rider Weight Tarot as the main question and answers and then for extra messages and clarifications a psychic tarot oracle deck okay cancers let's get started all right what messages do we have for cancer sun moon and rising equinox september through december 2019 what messages do we have for cancer sun moon and rising equinox september through december 2019 what messages do we have for my cancerians Sun, Moon, and Rising, Equinox, September to December 2019. What messages do we have for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising? That's where we're going to stop. Equinox, September to December 2019. What messages do we have for my Cancers? Sun, Moon, and Rising, Equinox, September to December 2019. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's see what we get. What messages do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising? All right, okay. Three more cards, please, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Equinox, September to December 2019. I do not take reversals, by the way. Okay. Three more cards, please, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and... Oh, we'll see if it comes back out. Cancer, Moon, Sun, Moon... What messages do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Equinox, September to December 2019. Three more cards, please. What messages do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Equinox, September through December 2019? Three more cards, please. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, okay, let's see if it comes back. I swear that was the same one that flipped over before. It flipped right back in. Maybe it's just not where it's supposed to be coming out at. Let's see. What messages do we have? All right, thank you. Two more cards, please, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Equinox, September, September through December 2019. I like it. All right, two more cards, please, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. One more go. Okay, there we go. Thank you so much, Spirit. Let's scoot this up so you can see it. Do -do -do. Okay. And the bottom of the deck. Seven Pentacles. Working hard at building your Pentacles. But you're sitting there looking there, looking at them longingly, like you don't understand why they won't grow more, why you can't manifest more money. Maybe you're sitting there thinking, well, maybe if I'd made a different decision, I'd have more pentacles. Or maybe even just working away in your garden happily, but you miss somebody, so you're kind of sitting there thinking about them, 
Let's dive in these cards and see what's going on with all that. Okay. We have the High Priestess. She represents fertility, pregnancy. Now, doesn't necessarily have to be a pregnancy. It can be the birth of a new chapter in your life, a new idea, a new business, some sort of birth, a new birth, a new beginning. <clears throat> the letters B and J, first, middle, and last, if that means anything to you. Now this is like either a crescent moon, which makes me think, you know, intuition, which is what women are about, fertility. And if you look here, I mean, does it not look like a, you know, little, the whole baby ovary thing going on there? So moon, intuition, motherhood, or also, so it could, you are a cancer, so, but pi, moon is Pisces and cancer. Um, tor, this here makes me think of a Taurus. So maybe you got Pisces in your chart, Taurus in your chart, or maybe you're dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. But this is some sort of new beginning, a birth. If you don't want to get pregnant, take precautions. If you can't get pregnant, then it's not that. Let's see. So some sort of, some, see, based on this, all right, look. This is definitely some, maybe for one or two, it's maybe pregnancy. I do not know. It's number two, you'd be two weeks, two months, or in two months. But the main reading I'm feeling here because see here let me look remember how I said that you are harvesting your pentacles based on the look at them going why won't they grow why can't I make more pentacles why is it every time I save turn around and I have some sort of emergency my car breaks down the roof of my house it starts to leak whatever you just always feel like you just you always have enough that's all you have is just enough. So you're sitting there going, why won't they grow? And then the birth of a new idea, of a new business happens. You follow your intuition. New idea begins. And look how quickly the pentacles start coming in. It has the, it's just holding the pentacle out. Here you go. Magician, all about manifesting those pentacles. Manifesting that new business, that new idea. See, you've got the pentacle and the cup and you're doing like a ceremony. Manifesting. Judgment is blown. Judgment horn is blown. You're finally getting what you've been working so hard for. The universe says, okay, here you go. It's about time that you decided that you deserved it. It's about time that you manifested it into your life. So just sitting here saying, Oh, I just don't know why. Or I wish. Or I want. That's not how you manifest. That's what the universe hears is wish, want. Oh, okay, well, you can want and wish all you want. When you decide to start believing, I do have abundance. I do have more than what I need. I am blessed. All about how you speak and think. So when you stop wishing and wanting and hoping, don't get me wrong, you need hope and you need faith. But here you're just like, oh, I wish I'd taken that job. Oh, I wish I'd invested. I wish I could, you know. When you stop doing that and you start speaking what you want, talking like you already have the abundance. When I buy my house, when I get the new car, when I get that raise, etc. An idea breaks through. A birth of a new opportunity, a business opportunity, a job is offered to you. Your pinnacles start coming in quickly. And they're just carried to you because you started manifesting them. This is a gift. The universe says, okay, you finally... Have understood and you started manifesting and believing and working towards your next goal so here you go judgment justice side by side Libra maybe there's a Libra in your chart maybe you're dealing with a Libra like I said Pisces Taurus Libra scales of justice everything's finally coming to your favor
maybe you were passed over for the promotion. And so you're like, well, I really should have gotten that promotion. My pentacles would grow more. Well, you begin something new. New idea. Maybe you bring it to your boss. With this, say, hey, I have an idea. You bring him a proposal. Written down to some project. And you start manifesting those pentacles. It's finally your turn. It's your turn to have justice. It's your turn to finally have those blessings. For so long, Cancer, you've been saying, well. Why does everything keep passing me up? Stop talking that way. Start manifesting. Birth a new idea. Things, projects start moving forward. You manifest in your life. And the world says, here you go. Justice is finally yours. You're finally getting what you've worked so hard for. You've had so much patience for. Alright. Let's go over here. See extra question or extra messages and clarifications for Cancer. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Equinox, September through December 2019. Thank you, Spirits, for being here. Thank you for speaking to me and through me. So whoever needs this message, hears it loud and clear. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Equinox, September to December 2019. Extra messages and clarifications for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Extra messages and clarifications for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Equinox, September to December 2019. Three cards. Well, I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> Extra messages and clarifications for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. September to December 2019. Extra messages and clarifications. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. September to December 2019. Okay. Extra messages and clarifications. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Equinox, September to December 2019. Three cards, please. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Equinox, September to December 2019. What extra messages and clarifications do we have? Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Equinox, September to December 2019. Three cards, please. What well, extra messages and clarifications do we have? Okay. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay. One more card, please. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I keep moving y'all over, don't I? My bad. One more card, please. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Equinox. September through December 2019. One more card, please. What messages and clarifications do we have? See? Nice, Cancer. Okay. So love begins. Love begins within yourself. Believing that you deserve this money. Speaking the universe. saying Instead of saying, oh, I wish. Saying, well, I mean, I'm just wishing I could have. Why is it always passed me over? Why does... Is this a family curse? Whatever it is that you keep speaking negatively. You stop that and you start loving yourself and you start believing and knowing that you have the right to an inheritance. That you have the right to that promotion. You have that right to that relationship. This is really about pentacles. Really what it seems like to me is about money. About manifesting money. That, that new job. That new career. That new business idea. Love yourself. Believe that you deserve. Believe the world, the universe, God, your higher power wants you to be happy. You have life lessons. You have karmic cycles. But you get through them because you're supposed to grow. You're not supposed to stay planted. You're supposed to grow. So love yourself and believe that the universe wants to bless you. Believe that you have these blessings. And yeah, starting a new business... There's going to be a lot of sacrifice involved. It's going to be really difficult. You're, there's going to be times you're like, what, what was I thinking? How am I going to do this? How can I survive on the money that I'm, I'm pouring money in? I'm not getting money out. The sacrifice. But you have to believe. Love begins. You've got to manifest these pentacles. It is your destiny. To fulfill this. Whatever this birth is. Whatever this idea is. Whatever this new project is. Only you know what it is. Cancers. But it's your destiny. 
So step out of this, oh woes me attitude. Follow your intuition. You know what it is that you want to be doing. You know what this new idea is. You know whether or not you want to take this job or this love relationship. Start manifesting. Start bringing these pentacles to yourself. Love begins when you start believing that you deserve these things. And yes, it's going to take some sacrifice. When the judgment horn bl blows, I mean, there are some things that go to the wayside. Not everybody gets to rise up, some ride down. And I'm not talking necessarily heaven or hell. I mean, I'm not, I don't want to go in there. But the whole concept of the judgment horn being blown. So it's going to take some sacrifice. You might lose some people along the way. There might be some people who don't believe that you can do this. Or they might believe that you're doing the wrong thing. Or they're always, you know, judgy Jenny. Don't listen to her. You know? Don't listen to Debbie Downer. They're jealous. They're, even if they love you, there's a part of them. Well, why, you know, have an eye? Or, we all have them. Whatever. It's going to take sacrifice. But justice is yours. The universe is here. Here you go. The justice scales are finally even. After all this waiting and patience and heartache and, and life cycles and Lord only knows what the past 12 years have been like. This 12 years karmic cycle. Well that karmic cycle has broken. Step out of the woes me. Woes me attitude. Follow your intuition. Manifest those pinnacles towards you. Judgment horn is blown. It's your turn. Look, it's your turn. Love begins. Start loving yourself and believing the world, the universe loves you too. That God loves you too. That you deserve these things. That they are coming your way. It's going to take a little bit of sacrifice. Starting a new business, new idea, new job. There's always a time frame where things seem real low. Income's not that great. So, you know, you've been complaining. Well, why am I always just okay? Well, you're going to be just okay. Maybe even, no, I don't know if I'm okay for a minute. But it's okay. Sacrifice that. Because love begins. Believe it. No matter how bad things get, always believe it. Everything happens for a reason. I got this. The universe wouldn't have gifted this to me. I have money coming. I am blessed. I am abundant. Because this is your, de your destiny. Okay, Cancers? This is your destiny. You got this. Like, subscribe, and share, please. Whichever video gets the most likes, we'll get a bonus reading for October. I love you guys very, very much. Bye, my moon child.